everyone, this is Angelica. Thank you for joining me today. This video is called Never Give Up on Your Dreams. And I'm making this video kind of in relation to the last video I made. I did see all of your comments and thank you. And I totally understand that my videos have been really, really helpful to all of you. And I'm going to keep them up for at least another six months or whatever. But I'm gonna to explain to you why it's important for me um, to release the old and move into the new. Um, well, and I haven't done a video in a, in a while and that's because I've been working a lot, especially with my inner alignment in creating this new space that I'm moving into, if you want to call it that, dreams, okay? Like, don't ever give up on your dreams. This is um, a new way of expression. So first you get a dream, say you get a new desire, you get a new um, thought, whatever you want to call it, a new feeling for your life to move forward. And you go into a visualization or you go into a daydream, whatever you want to call it, and you see yourself living that or it's just a vision that comes to you. Everybody receives information in different ways. So when you receive that insight and you're moving along in a different way, um, you can see where your energy no longer fits within the old way, okay? And that's kind of, that internal shift has been happening within me um, for a while now. And so, what I'm creating now has actually been there for a long time and I've needed to step into it for a long time. But what we tend to do is we resist. We resist because the new dream is, um, it, it, it can sometimes seem scary. Like, are we ready for that? Um, like you may have certain, it's mainly energy. Like I said, physical traits, yes, are good and they can help with, shifting the energetic frequency into the new. Um, however, it's more of a, it's more of a holding on to the past and it's more of like a, a fear of the unknown. Okay. That's what it is. It's a fear of the unknown and letting go and moving in to new spaces, new realities. Um, because this is all, really a dream world and it's just a very dense dream world and so our dreams when we go to sleep those are fantastic you know they can be fantastic or they can be nightmares it just depends but and things move fluidly and you can change around and everything like that and here things are more dense so things here are slower to progress and so when you feel this your soul shifting into this new reality within you which is a great vision and it sounds nice and wonderful. However, making all the pieces fit on the outer is the challenge. And if you get a dream in your heart and a lot of dreams can take years to happen. And actually this new um, site that I'm building, um, the name of my new business, I actually got that name in 2006, I think. Um, where I was working at a job and I remember I told you in my videos where I would just write in my journal, you know, um, just insights that would come to me because I was getting downloaded with so many different things and this name came to me and I'm like, oh, I don't know about that one, you know, I don't know, but it's always been brewing under me, this dream. So sometimes you have dreams or little seeds that sprout into new realities a while later some dreams happen very quickly and it just depends on your energetic frequency in relation to it so back then i wasn't really ready obviously i had a lot to learn i had a lot to grow part of this channel has been my growth into my life's work so when i started doing videos on this channel i um was mainly, you know, getting practice on doing videos, on teaching, on, um, and on seeing like how to do everything, you know. Um, also, I, I also knew that I have a big, huge storehouse of other things that I love to do, which I have done some of those videos, um, you know, a little bit. But the main, the main topic 
of my work has been spiritual awakening. Now I'm moving out of that and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm still going to do spirituality, but it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit more practical. It's going to fit into the wholeness that I am now, which involves a lot of other topics and things that I really enjoy. So I'm super excited and super happy that um, these videos have been so helpful to you all on your spiritual journey. And I'm going to keep them up for a while, but I think once you see what I'm creating next and the way that I'm going to do it, it may be a better fit for you anyway. And like I said, sometimes when we're moving from one stage into another stage, it can seem a little, you know, a little scary, especially if you've been doing something for a while. So I'll probably have a new video on my new YouTube channel, which all of you guys can subscribe over there if you want. I'm going to keep these videos up for a while. Um, but a lot of it represents the past for me and, you know, holding on to the past is never a good idea because it's, it can take you, well, me, okay, that's how I am. I, when I move into a new reality, a new version of myself, I really truly need to let go of the past completely. And um, that just helps me because then there's no fragments of the past left behind. I've spent so many years of my life, I mean, I'm 37, so I've spent most of the time, the bulk of that time, letting go of my childhood. And I've done everything myself. I've learned everything myself. Nobody taught me anything. Um, all the work that I do, I've done it. Because of this inner feeling of never giving up. I'm very persistent and I knew that God didn't put dreams in my heart for no reason. I knew that those dreams were meant to happen and even though they've taken a while to come to fruition, they always do. <clears throat> um, they always do. You wouldn't even be able to dream or think of something that made you excited or happy if it wasn't meant to be. However, what happens is we dream something or something comes to us as a desire and we see where we're at currently and it doesn't quite fit with that new reality because there's things to learn, there's growth that needs to happen, there are blockages from the past that need to be let go of and sometimes that's just a process. Sometimes you just have to let spirit take charge and do the work for you and we always try to figure it out in our minds like how can I do this how can I do that and sometimes it's just letting go it's allowing allowing yourself to be in the present state and not going into the past or the future staying in the now and just saying you know what I'm very blessed to be here right now I'm so blessed with what I have because if you don't get to the state of gratitude with having what you have now Nothing you bring in is going to make you happy anyway. It doesn't matter how big the dream is, it's not going to make you happy. So you have to change a lot of things about yourself to be the type of person who can be in the dream that's been given to you. And we live in a world of instant gratification. We want it right now. But that's not how God works sometimes. God will show you the glimpse of what's possible and then you go through the transformational process of being able to align with that. So, that's what's been going on for me, especially in the past couple months. Um, I've been really working with my energy and also doing the action steps, okay? Um, and the things that have happened in my life, realigning and things coming in and things leaving has been, um, whew, has been a little bit turbulent, but because I have so much experience with this transformational process and when you're on a path like this things happen so fast so that you can keep expanding your consciousness um, it's it's all divinely guided though so just try to take a breath be in your present moment and be super grateful for everything that you have now and everything that has culminated into this now moment into this now moment the future the past everything is now Okay, and all you have to do is align with the energy. So um, the new site and the new uh, video and everything will be, and I'm going to teach you in my first new video how to really 
practical steps on how to align with abundance. So you're going to be really excited um, about the new video. So I am going to still be talking about the things that I've talked about on this channel, minus the um, minus the emotional stuff, because a lot of that I've worked through through this channel, which is great. But you can't ever stay there. Okay, you have to let that stuff go so you can move into the new. And even though maybe you're going through something like that. Um, know that it's going to shift for you. It's going to, you come to a point where you've released the stuff and you have to move into something new. So um, I'm going to be talking about a lot of topics that I talk about here. However, I'm going to be adding a lot of the things I haven't talked about here. Um, a lot of things that are really important to me as well. Creativity, um, health, uh, beauty tips, um, relationships. So it's going to expand. It's going to get much bigger. But I'm also going to be doing a lot more demonstrations and I'm going to be a lot of stuff's coming. So like I said, this has been happening on an internal level for a long time and now it's actually starting to crystallize on the outer plane. <laughs> so um, another thing that's changing is I'm not going to be doing uh, coaching the same. I'm not going to be doing uh, spiritual counseling anymore. So if you ever wanted to have a session with me, I'm going to be stop. I'm going to be stopping the way that I do that. Um, within a month or so, I'll be deleting all of that off my old site, and I'm creating um, a new way of coaching, which I'll only be working with a few people a month, and it's going to be long term. So, if you ever wanted to do that, now's the time. Um, and yes, new things are coming, and. I say never give up on your dreams because you just can't. You know, we're here. The thrill of this whole earth plane is to come here to get a dream and to actually see it manifest and to work with your vibrational energy, to work with the things coming up for you, to learn how to be grateful, to let go of your past, to step into that new reality and part of that creation process is very exciting and it can be exciting and when you look at it in those terms instead of thinking oh I don't have what I want like you can have what you want and if you're more grateful and if you're excited and you're happy and you don't look at, at, at what you just don't have you already actually have it because the vision of having it in the future means it's happening right now. The future and the past are right now. And you can change the past even. And I'll be teaching you those techniques on my new channel. I'll be teaching you how to bring the future elements into the present. I'll be teaching you so many cool things. Um, but the reason I'm letting this go, this channel go, is because, um, is because it did, it, it, it represents a part of my life that I'm no longer fit with. I'm no longer in alignment with it. And that's the best way to describe it. Um, when you're no longer in alignment with something, you're just not. You know what I mean? And it's not that I'm not in alignment with the people. The, you guys have been so supportive and loving and I love you and I'm so excited that a lot of you will come with me. But there's a lot of people that I'm not going to resonate with anymore because um, some people um, need to stay in that space for a little longer and that's okay. That's totally okay. I think I've learned that I have figured out a lot of new processes and strategies that I'll be teaching you on my new site and through my new courses and stuff like that that can take you from that space into the new reality much more quickly than um, than what I have taught sometimes before. And I just had to go through that experience and, and feel it all and do it all to learn that. And sometimes that's how we have to learn. Experience is our best teacher. So I love you all so very much. My new video on my new channel will be out soon. And I'll make a video on this channel telling you my new site, my new YouTube video. I'll be giving you the links and all the information Probably, you know, I'm not good with time sometimes because I live in this this world of no time. Time has always been something that's been um, a struggle for me to figure out, but um, it's happening really soon. So, 
maybe several days, I don't know, maybe Saturday or maybe Monday. It just depends um, because Sunday is Easter. So yay, that's my favorite holiday. Uh, mainly because spring is my favorite season. Spring is bringing in the new and now we're in the sign of Aries which um, is fire and it's going out and doing new things and it's beautiful, it's wonderful and we can look at everything as being a magnificent blessing. We just got to really focus on gratitude. Another thing I'm going to be teaching and specific processes of how you can actually use these things in your life. I'm such a process person but I want to make it easier for you guys to understand the processes. So um, assignments and stuff like that that are going to take you into this energy much more quickly. All right. Well, I love you so much and thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.